Hello and welcome back to a new session of Imposter Factory. And last time we finally discovered, well it's not really discovered, we are still very unsure what this is. But at least now we know that it's Linry, her name was Linry right? Yes, Linry, who was doing all of those. And yes, it was correct, my assumption, and probably a lot of you already have guessed it. This is kind of a fabricated world, one that is created by her. And for some reason that I'm the only one who will remember after the reset. And also the host somehow always dies. This is kind of the status right now. And right now I'm... Don't know how to deal with this situation, that's why I look like this. But yeah. And I, I forgot where he went. Doesn't know it upstairs or there's no way I'm going in there again, okay? Like I really forgot where she went. Because there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, just still this plant. Fresh garlic. And yeah, basically right now we at least know like um, that it is a fake world. So our goal is to I guess follow Linry, but as I said I forgot where she went. Probably upstairs. I forgot was was how the last session ends. Just a bit past three, okay. But yeah, I probably need to go upstairs, but I will check everything else first. Like this one is still closed. I'm still wondering what this is. Is this the Sigmund uh, machine or what is it? But it looks like there's nothing here. So I guess I just need to go upstairs. And yeah, follow her. Because now it's starting to get interesting. Because before it was only questions, no answers. And now we get a little bit of answer, but even more questions. So we are doing progress, I would say. A painting of a slender tree, okay. Let me go to the other door, just because I can. In the sense, just for long here. Door is locked, for sure, of course. Then let me check the other door. It's also locked. Okay, so we have to talk with Linry. I think this is the only room we have never been before. So this might be interesting. To see what she has to say. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm, I'm still out of my mind. As you can see here. And also here. Oh, I think this menu I've never shown before, right? I have a mouse enabled, okay. Full screen, it's yes, yes you can see. Integer scaling, I have no idea. I guess it's disabled, as you can see, it's in, yeah, it's marked as disabled. Uh, last mile scaling is also disabled, and smooth scaling is enabled, whatever this means, sure. But as you can see, this, the option is not really that big. They did some improvement, but it's not like you can customize a lot. But still, we have Quincy here. And yeah, let's just talk to Limri. Maybe I can already go inside without... Nope, she's blocking the door. I mean, she's dressed nicely, I think, I would say. Okay, let's talk to her. This wasn't something I wanted to show you, this, in, um, this iteration, but... Since I need to keep you around for reference, you might as well go and have a look. Hold on, just back up a minute. What do you mean you created? I mean, what even is this place? Good question. I think you will find the answer inside here. Okay, sure. Dozo. So you have to so you have to keep those weird memories though. I need them later for reference. But just try not to worry about it. 
not worry about it. Well, I mean, it's hard <laughs> to not think about it if you are in his situation. I hope you can understand. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go on, I will meet you in there. But... But, 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 get your butt in there. Uh... What a mess. You, you lock me in? Might as well let this one run its course. I guess the first time's never the charm. But to happen every time. So this is your first job as Sigmund or... I, I'm just trying to figure out before I got the answer from the game. Every time, when... Wait a minute. Is it really a bathroom? I don't know. But what is this? Hey! You said you will meet me in here. She just locked me in? Uh, okay, sure. And I can sprint again, so this is cool. But I can only go to the right. Like no top, no down. I can go back, but it's the dead end. So the only thing I can do is go to the right. Which is a very long hallway. Am I at the end? Okay. This is a very long stairs. Is this the heaven? Hello, God? Knock, knock. Yeah, let's, let's just go upstairs and check, I guess. Since it's the only path you're looking up. I think I've never seen this character sideways. Like like now it's sort of kind of diagonally. Instead of like this. So this is cool. I suppose. In the sense that you can see it sideways. But yeah, there's just one small thing that I want to mention. Not even story relevant, but it's just something I just saw and I find it interesting and cool. But yeah, let's see what's on the other side of the tunnel. And it is the Act 2. Okay. Okay, is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? This reminds me strangely of the end of Portal 2, but I, I don't know. Or was this any parable? I forget us both. Where am I? Good question. It feels us to just leave everything behind like this. Well, kind of, but there's also nothing you can do really there. But there's also nothing you can do here, I think. You're free, but also not really, or I don't know. But why did she send me here? Good questions, because I don't even know the purpose of this room, this place, this whatever. Okay, I have a data uh, bar, whatever this means. Why did she send me here? I know, but... Uh, okay, you wanna figure out why she did send you here. But also here I can only walk... Uh, not up and down, only left and right. Okay, then let me go to the right. Since I can't do anything else. Just walking through the flowers. With the um, rustling noises. Which is cool, I guess. Okay, there's a girl. Hello? Uh, I guess let's just walk up to her. Okay. Hey! Oh, now, now we're getting kind of familiar with the silhouette of people and collecting orbs. So now we kind of became a Sigmund employee. Uh, just not voluntary. What was that? 
Uh, I mean, you will figure out the mechanics at some point, I guess. Are these people? I mean, you can't really talk to any of them, sure. No, no, everyone stay together, okay? Okay. Miss Jones. Peter. Quick picking on easy like that. And Lindry. Ah, this is more Lindry, okay. I mean, this is what I have would have guessed anyway. But what is more Lindry here? But what's the point? Maybe Lindry... Know this guy? This Quincy guy and somehow he forgot or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to one up once up the game and trying to figure out what is happening before it's happening. To kind of unofficially spoil myself. I said don't go too far to the um, from the group. Especially you. Okay, second orb, sure. Lindry. Yeah, data still this, okay. Is this the past? But how? As I said, memory stuff, hard to understand. Whatever. Now, Linry, I have specific instruction from your parents that. Yeah, she's just walking around. Hey, stop running! Why are you running? I can also run if I want. Let's actually do this. Okay, if you do that again. Hey, the doctor said your participation on this trip is conditional. Doctors, okay, I, I, I don't know why every time if I'm playing to the moon series, there's at least someone who has some kind of sickness. I mean, which makes sense because this is more, this is kind of the reason why I'm here anyway. If this guy's healthy and nothing happens, then they don't need us. But but anyway. But in this case, it's already on the child phase where you have some condition, medical condition. So, yeah, maybe this is something new. But now I get all the orbs. The doctor? Yep. Yeah. I mean, now I get all the orbs, which means I should be able to find a memory. Linry, if you don't watch it. Linry? Okie dokie. Okay, we'll go there later. Let's talk to her. Linry. Everything here froze as soon as she fainted. I guess because it's her memory, if she fainted, then she has no memory of what happens after, or something like that, I guess. Does it mean this place is all based on her? This would make sense, huh? But yeah, I mean, we already saw this cave entrance there. This barrier. Hey! Hmm. Okay, now you know what to do. And you break the barrier! Good job, you did your first job very nicely. Unpaid, of course. I guess we'll just jump to the next memory then. Even though it is, in this case the momento is a door instead of an object as usual. I mean, door. It's an object, but I mean, a uh, really a uh, meaningful object of her memory. But yeah, I guess just go in and check the next one. And also, this time they are going through corridors and doors. I mean, maybe this is also what happens in the To The Moon series. I mean, the previous one, this is just the part that we never seen. Because probably it's not important. Okay, an ambulance. Car. Well, I mean, so she does have some medical conditions, as we already have guessed, because of the doctor stuff. <laughs> when 
yeah. Let me try this. No, nothing here. Talk to this. Talk to this. Okay, it's disappeared. No, I can't go back. There's nothing here. Okay. There's a doctor here that I can't talk to. Okay. Can I talk to anything here? Except the people here, of course. Like this, like this, a computer. Let's talk with, I guess, your father. P sorry, Dad. This was all my fault, wasn't it? You should have been more careful, didn't we? But no, this isn't all your fault. Do you think it's still... I will be still able to go on more class trips? Well, we will have to see what the doctor says. Just be patient, and we will try our best, okay? Okay. Yeah, just be patient, okay. Then let's hear from the mom. I can't talk to Linry, this would be strange anyway because I can't I can't interview with anyone. As you can see, I'm kinda of translucent. Translucent? Tra 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 transparent, whatever. This is the second time it happens, isn't it? Oh, this was the doctor voice, sorry. Yeah. We thought it was a one-off. We really shouldn't have allowed her to go without close supervision. Well, fortunately, the fall was cushioned. These early symptoms can be dangerous. Experimental drugs for them are on the horizon. Drugs! But in the long run... Could one of you stay here with Linry? As for the other, please come with me. Uh, who is staying? Who is going? Okay, mom is staying. Sure. Let's talk to the mom first. Just, just want to see what she has to say to Linry. It's going to be okay, Linry. Okay, we will see. We will see. Let's talk to the doctor. I can't hear what they're saying. Ah, okay, because this is not Linry's memory. Linry doesn't know about what this is they're talking. So you don't know as well. Is it? Is it because she couldn't? Wow, this guy's quite smart, I would say. He just throw it into this unknown situation and already f kind of figured out what is this? That the thing is around her and this is her memory and whatever. Okay, I get a little bit of data. Okay, cool. Okay, so so is this Okay, then then is is Linry the patient or am I the patient? And if Linry is the patient because it's kind of her memory, what is my role in the game? Because she said I have kind of a role because this is about me, she said in the previous session. But it's surrounding it looks like this about Linry and not me. Or am I part of Linry's memory? I don't know, let's let's just jump forward. Okay, this is kind of strange because usually, usually um the story I have is continue. I mean the places where I collect all the corpses are usually just one place, but no now I just jump to another place. Now I'm outside in the dark, ne next to the road. For example, I can talk to the car. I mean, I can't talk to the car. Okay, sure. And else, there's nothing else here I can do. So let's go to the house. Is this Linry's house? I mean, it would make sense this Linry house because this is Linry's memory. I mean, I can go to this door, go to this door, and then talk to her later. I will talk to her later, of course. But this door is locked, okay. 
This is not the bathroom. I'm just trying to click everything. The Little Prince by Anthony de Saint Exupéry, or whatever this is pronounced. This French stuff. Okay, sure. Let me check the picture of this very happily married couple. And I guess this is Lindry in the bed. Or something like that. I don't know. I will talk to you later. I will talk to everything else first. Oh, I hate it so that, that my character is not aligned with the object. As you can see, I cannot stand in the middle of the chair. I can also not stand in the middle of the uh, um, lamp. And I cannot stand in the middle of the picture. Why am I offset by, by a zero dot f a half a uh, uh, whatever square voxels? However, this is great. <clears throat> however, cell, however, this is programmed. <clears throat> but still, let's check what she's trying to hear. But when will it happen? Tomorrow? Years down the road? Hey, it's not certain that it will turn mal malignant, right? There's a chance that it will never surface. But there is a chance that it will. Then we will treat it. If we start treatment as soon as it worsened, if it worsened, then we have another chance, right? Still, it's just... It just feels like there's no so... There's so much... Um, there's so much left to mere chance. Lindry? What are you doing here, Lin? I can't sleep. Oh man, Lily had a sad childhood story, huh? This turned out to be an anime sad backstory somehow. Is there something wrong with me? No, my sweetheart, of course not. Don't worry, Lin. It's nothing. We can't get through. Um, it's nothing we can't get through together. Is that what, what's keeping you up? No. Oh, then, what's the matter? The doctor said I can't go on a field trip anymore, didn't he? Not for now, but they are working on something that will help. Oh. Are you sad that you had to end the trip early today? Yeah. I didn't want to leave so soon. Everyone else got to stay the whole day. Let's go back then. Go back? When? Why not now? What? Really? It's late, Bill. Oh, there's no harm in a little nighttime excursion now and then. Man, I don't know why, but my pessimistic brain was like, okay, that's maybe not a good idea. What if something happened? Okay. But yeah. By sight, I just got the thing for it. Hooray! Are you coming, Mom? It's okay, I will stay. I will make some warm soup for you when you two get back. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's check on mom, I guess. I mean, she doesn't seem too happy about it, but I mean, I can also understand. Even though I'm not a mom, I'm not a parent at all, but still. But I can't talk to her, so... Uh, Let's check on the father. No. Why does he lock the door after he goes in? Yep, there's still the prince. Okay, she was happily doing something. Which I can't really interact to, but 
yeah, let's just go outside then. So I just go inside to go outside again. Sure. It's fine. So let's just check. Wow, is it really a telescope? Sure it. And I will show you how it works too. Come on. I'm gonna put it in the car, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go say bye to my to mom. Okay, just let's follow mom again, I guess. Oh, I can't go outside again. No, but I see the data is growing. Okay, so this is, I mean, it's kind of the same mechanic. It's just show differently. Like the data is kind of like how many of her memory we already access. It's the same concept as with that um, timeline of, um, for example, Johnny. Where we have the old phase and the uh, middle age and then the child age and, what the, and all the things between. And here we just see a progress bar. So in a sense we have no idea how far how far or back in time we are. Which adds a little bit to the mystery. I kind of like it. It's kind of a change. Or maybe this is they did it like that. Because we will not discover the whole timeline of linear. Because, I mean, all our patients back then are old geezers. And Linry, I would say, she's a young woman, so the only thing we'll see is her childhood and maybe teenager phase. Because she just haven't so, so, so much lifespan as the other until now. But yeah. Okay, then let's just check her. She say goodbye to mom. She's crying, no! Oh man, why? No, she's crying. No, why you have to do this? She will be fine, Linry. I mean, she's still here. She was just with us. She visited a party, even though it's one that she created herself. And she won in chest. By capturing the king with um, his own pawn. So, yeah. She's doing fine. But yeah. I guess it's hard for a parent to hear that her daughter is ill or something. But there's nothing you can intact right now, so we'll just check how's the next memory. Which I hope, I guess it's the one where she goes to the trip with her father, with the telescope. Also this time I don't have to solve any puzzles anymore. To connect, to activate the memento, we just throw the balls and go through the door.